Welcome back, everybody, to Plan's 10-Minute Podcast. I am your host, Ryan Diver. With me is Nick Carlson. Nick, how are you doing today? I'm good, Ryan. How are you doing? Good. Uh, we are with Plan Companies. Plan Companies is a building service provider providing janitorial, security guard, front desk concierge, and maintenance services for over 120 years. Uh, our guest today is Plan Company CEO, Robert Francis. How are you doing today, Rob? Good. How are you? Thanks for having me. Good. And uh, we wanted to have you on today because uh, there's a question that, you know, we kind of get a lot. And who better, you know, for someone who has been in this industry for so long with the fourth family generation, you know, being in this industry, you would definitely know these answers. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. Sure. You know, what, what is the business value of having a premium service provider at your property? Business value, I would say, is that you're getting a company that hopefully has the expertise and the track record to deliver uh, for you and your tenants and, and residents, that you're getting uh, the infrastructure of a group that's not, you still have to have the heart and the passion, but that's not winging it. It's actually you know, going in with a planned, disciplined, methodical approach to bringing screened, trained, qualified, quality individuals into your communities, into your homes and training them, uh, empowering them, overseeing the group, uh, communicating with you as the client and with the team uh, and delivering. So in the beginning, I'd say, you know, you could always have and plant has the culture and the values and the heart, which is very important, but you back it as a premium service with infrastructure, with the ability to recruit in a certain way to make sure that you're screening and selecting individuals who possess the qualities for service, passion, and positivity, and that want to be part of the, of the industry. And then you're empowering them. You're actually not just going through the motions and saying, here, good luck, clean the building, or work the gate, or work the desk, but you're empowering them, you know, learning management systems for uh, training and development to on-the-job training. Uh, and then you're having a quality control with true operations team members going to the communities at different hours, different days, and so infrastructure matters along with that same mom and pop or beginning culture uh, and, and passion and backing it up so that when you're getting a premium service, you're getting uh, the tools, the team, the technology uh, to deliver. And fortunately, when I started in 98, I'd say we probably uh, always felt that culturally we were a premium group in terms of care uh, and response and accountability. But now we can back it uh, with IT and technology and HR and onboarding and orientations and uh, recruitment with a recruitment team and uh, you know in, in the ops teams and now having a junior ops level. So th they matter now probably more than ever in a very challenging environment, a very difficult environment um, and they matter throughout. So I think you can feel it more now you know, when it's premium or when you have a group that has the skills and the infrastructure uh, to deliver. And uh, we've been very fortunate, great team, great culture, love the group that's out there, you know, selflessly, uh, over 4,800 strong, making a difference. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting you say that 4,800 strong, you know, as, as we kind of become, you know, bigger and bigger, if anybody's hesitant on, you know, whether to, to go on to a premium service provider, you really can see how, what it takes you know, behind the scenes and how many people, like you said, 4,800 strong is, is a very impressive number. Um, and I think it just kind of speaks to how, how the level of dedication and, and things like that, that, that Thank go you. into yeah, this whole operation. Yeah, we've been very operation. fortunate growing in the different markets, uh, really helping uh, our teams and our clients uh, during this time. They want accountability and transparency in terms of the groups they're working with. They want to make sure you have the right people, the right process, the right products. And I think we really uh, had to step up during this time. And, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really been, you know, remarkable phones ringing, emails are blasting, texts are coming in because I think that the industry wants a group, uh, like us, it's humbling and we are, you know, putting the infrastructure into continued, uh, to meet that challenge. That was uh, quite a list that you, uh, that you gave <laughs> us there. What would you, what would you say is the most important differentiator? You know, I still, I still go to culture. Because when you do have, um, you know, all of these things, you know, to, to passionately respond to your team or to a client, 
that has to be in the DNA of an organization. And the culture of being passionate and responsive and accountable um, has to be there. You know, you can't, you know, Nick, I always say you can't fake this business. You know, you, you, you can, it's a marathon. And so, you know, you might be able to win the moment, but to win the, the, the long run, you have to be consistent. And so a culture of a company that's built on values and built to last, uh, and the pride that I take in it, 24 years now in, in April, um, it, it, it matters. And so I think, look, technology is always going to matter, never being complacent. Um, having programs to develop the team from the onset, from the orientation through to the first day and um, you know, you know, the first 90 days in their, their journey, very important. Um, uh, recognition programs, promoting from within, all important, but that's with culture, um, how you treat your team, how you work with the industry and your clients uh, and standing that test of time. And if you have a great culture, in my humble opinion, great things can happen. So I'd say culture is probably the most important. And then around that, you know, really investing in the company and in the team, because you're going to, if the why is just to make money, don't, don't, that's not, your why should really stand for something. And I think, you know, you know, for here, we really believe that we're enriching and enhancing the quality of life for the lives we service, the tenants and residents that we service. Like that's our, that's our mission and we believe in it. So culturally, we get up every day to deliver. And I think it's just making, it makes all the difference. And that goes for, I'm just going to, you know, a discover card and, you know, from what I've seen to a Chick-fil-A and how they really believe in, in service and customer service um, to just many companies that get Southwest and Disney that really have cultures about the customer and about really loving and delighting their clients. Like that is what we're trying to do and staying true to it. And as you said, Rob, uh, you know, can't fake this business, right? Like our, our product is our people. Uh, so I guess what I really want to know is, you know, if you could pick one quality in a person that you're interviewing for to become a member of the plan team, what would that quality be? Passion. I want someone who's energized and passionate, and it could be about cooking. It could be about their family, coaching soccer games. It could be about... Um, movies, books, but someone that's passionate, I feel they can be, they can funnel or fuel that passion into other areas. And when I see it and feel it, it, it can energize me uh, and energize the team. So I always look for passion um, first. And, you know, someone that you'd want to have a, a drink with, want to go out with, you know, someone that you could, you know, you want to have someone that you can certainly, um, you know, want to be with and feel that they're um, someone that you could hang out with and, and uh, enjoy their company. But if they're passionate, um, then I look at other areas, but it's hard for me, you know, with I plan integrity, passion, longevity, attitude, and never being complacent. That's our, 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 our assessment way of looking at candidates that come into the planned society. That P um, in passion and positivity, I should say, uh, matters. And so I look at that and, you know, Ryan, I, you know, I met you years ago and, you know, I, I, I could see that you're a driven, passionate individual for the things that you love. Nick, you know, as a marketing guru, um, you know, SEO and, and the, the tech background that you have, I saw the passion that you have and, um, you know, you can't fake it. It's in you. And I think many that you've met at planned over the time, I think you see that passion with the ops team and HR and, um, uh, IT and and all of it, and so I, I I look for that. I think that's an important quality in a service business to be passionate, passionate about. Hopefully, um, what, you know, after they apply it to, to a sport or to their family, then they bring it in here and they're passionate then about planned and about what we're doing on this journey. Awesome. Yeah, those, those are great answers. I mean, and, and you can definitely see why, you know, Plant has, has really grown the way that it has over the past few years and definitely hope to continue that that growth and, and that keep that same co core culture. Um, Thank you. But Rob, we appreciate you coming on today. Uh, I, I love it. I appreciate you doing the 10 minute podcast. And yeah. I'll say that we, I feel like we're, as I've mentioned, a fourth generation startup, a hundred plus 20 year 
startup, the, the, the energy and the ideas, the innovation, including the 10 minute podcast and others that are happening come from you. And so I get very pumped and energized by what the group's doing and the difference that we're making out there. So, so thank you for having me. Awesome. That's Great. all the time we have today, everybody. Uh, we thank you so much for listening. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you get your podcasts, you can find the Plan 10 Minute Podcast. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.